Hey guys, welcome to the channel and also welcome to Forza Horizon 5. Uh, so, first off, as per usual, well, it's the second time, but I mean, creating a habit is what it is. I'm going to send away a gift at the beginning of the video, and the gift today won't be an other vehicle than a Ford RS800. Now, I told you that I usually don't uh, give away untempered vehicles, or, well, that's the plan, but this time I am going to change this, because this time this vehicle is useful for the trial uh, of the week, and actually the criterion is that it has to be stock. So I'm going to give away a stock vehicle, hopefully making somebody's day. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's say new Hall of Fame members, because that's the point where you... Uh, where you... Uh, you can start to grind the... the, the weekly uh, things. And of course, we're going with my player name, which is Your Majesty. It could be anyone, it doesn't have to be me this one time. Alright, which is cool. So that's done for. Uh, now, if you don't get my gift, which is kinda likely, uh, you can easily get this car to go for the trial. Uh, let me explain how to go for it. So basically it's the reward for one of the uh, weekly championships and it's a pretty easy one. You can find it here uh, in the vicinity of the Hot Wheels uh, DLC if you have it on your map and yeah so basically up here ish and what you need is a 1970s classic rally rally car. For example, I used my uh, lovely little uh, Ford, uh, uh, Ford Escort. What's this? Yeah, RS. Uh, yeah, it's the 1800. I forget these sometimes, although they are kind of iconic. You, ha you can have the RS 1600 as a barn find, and you can have the uh, 1800. Uh, I think you can get it from the um, uh, from the the shop, but uh, don't don't quote me on that. Anyways, you need this bad boy if you want to do the weekly forza tone as well. So, and you can easily hit B700 with this one, and uh, it can be a fairly uh, balanced vehicle at that uh, rating. So yeah. Anyways. Uh, Today we're also we're going to do some uh, trialing again, and we're going to do uh, hill climb just like the other time because hill climb is love and hill climb is life. So I think I go there. I meet you at the at the bottom, uh, at the foot of the hill, and I show you guys this week's feature presentation. Till then. So this is the ride that uh, I have picked for today. If you're not aware, this is the vehicle that you can get for earning the first 20 point in this week uh, uh, in all the seasonal thing B bobs. So it's the um, is the 1985 HDT VK Commodore Group A. Now, if you are a Forza veteran, you may remember that uh, in the previous two... Uh, was it even...? No, I think it was the previous two, because Forza Horizon 3 was in Australia, yeah? Uh, well, anyways, from the point on when it was set in Australia, in all the uh, Horizon games, uh, the the Venki or Plastic Fantastic was in, but that's the 1988 uh, VK Commodore Group A. This is an earlier uh, version, so it's it's something else. 
but it's a nice car nonetheless. I have to say that I'm a huge fan of the Vanky, so the it's it was called by the way a Vanky because the the name of the dude who designed the arrow kit, uh, well, his nickname was Vanky. Uh, or it was called obviously Plastic Fantastic because that arrow kit looked ominous. So yeah, uh, this is this is an earlier version. I don't know much about uh, its history and circumstances, but it's an awesome car. So we're going to take it up the hill today. That's the plan, anyways. Let's see it in action. Now I actually tuned it up to uh, 900 to the letter. And uh, I don't even see my rival, who, for whom it took six hours. Uh, anyways, so it's it's tuned to 900 to the letter, uh, but it's a bad tuning, mind you. Basically, all I did was just some rudimentary fiddling with the gear, uh, the final gear ratio to uh, improve its acceleration. That's all that I did, nothing more. Um, other than that, nothing else. Mostly because I was lazy as all hell to do anything more. And I don't really feel like the need. Like, here's the thing. Uh, I started to do my own tunings, mostly using guides on the internet and, and whatnot. And even there was this, or there still is that, uh, that one online force tuner that I used. Because I felt that it gives me an advantage, but as time went past, uh, I relied on that less and less, because it was helpful. It indeed improved the handling of the cars and and all that. <clears throat> I realized that I just don't need it. Like, I... Uh, I'm not saying I'm awesome at this game, but I'm, I'm mediocre. And... I'm at the point where, at highly skilled levels, I can beat anything. And in the weekly in the weekly trials, I do fairly well uh, against undefeatable enemies. Yeah, so so that's that's why I don't really mess with these things anymore. When I feel like I really really need the extra edge for a for a. a PR stunt or, or something like that, then I go, and it's a very very specific vehicle, I usually go and, and download someone else's great tuning. It happened in the previous season uh, with one of the uh, seasonal championships that it required a specific car and I felt like my build was underperforming, so I went ahead and just plain and simple uh, downloaded someone else's. Oh yeah, I remember it was the one with the, the Volkswagen uh, Baja bugs. I just couldn't build one that was right for the task, for the life of me. But other than that, I I do fine with just slacking and I feel like, well, this wasn't really a difficult trial because uh, the opponent took their sweet time. Oh, yeah, he's done. Okay. I was uh, worried when the lift got it. Yeah, so as you can see, I, uh, I managed to take off almost like seven hours. So, yeah, let's see uh, what we do. Okay, as a reward. Probably a little bit of um, credit. Oh, I also got an accolade because I, I don't really do these rivals nowadays. I just, I just grind the the weekly, uh, the weekly seasons most of the time. Okay, so let's see the next one. It's just a hair. Uh, they are just a hair fa faster than me. Uh, yeah, I think I can improve as much. We'll see. That's a bit more challenging because this time around the rival is actually to be 
up my my bottom. This uh, entry part is the tricky because here you get a, a, a turn pretty early on that will st stunt your acceleration. Because you know, in turns you have to slow down if you want to take them. And uh, the the old uh, we have a proverb here in Hungary where basically it says the the slower you go the further you get. I don't know if that's in English or anything like that, but this time it truly applies. Like generally speaking, in this game, if you're cornering uh, at the right speed, basically following the arrows on the ground that I have, uh, you will perform much better than if you're forcing yourself through the turns and banging yourself against these uh, concrete walls. Now either I'm doing that much better for the second time because I have familiarity with the track, I highly doubt this, or I will, uh, I will be surprised at the end. See. And next to the construction site, yeah, we're almost at, yeah, we're actually at 60%. Doing fine. Mind you, my cornering is not top notch right now. I am pretty brutish with the cornering at this point, or at least I feel like I'm not not at not at all. Uh, very stylish with my driving, and I, I say sorry for that. But what? I finished. What's going on here? What's what travesty is this? So I stopped recording because I thought that the game froze on me, but actually not. It was just taking its its sweet time. So here are the results. I actually managed to uh, uh, to carve off a good four seconds of my time, which is pretty good if you ask me. So let's see. If uh, if third time is a charm, or it's just a fluke. So the game, for some reason, didn't record my previous results uh, at all. I had to do it again, and this time around, I came out with a bit worse time. So actually this person with uh with he with their time uh is actually just slightly faster than what I did uh previously. So let's see. We're finishing off with uh testing a medal or testing my medal against uh Pinosas 1988. Uh, chap, you're two years younger than me, and chap involves uh, gentlemen 
ladies and everything in between and beyond in my head so don't get uh, offended please also don't get offended if I'm faster than you it's nothing personal it's just you know it's just driving your car up a hill like why did I push this uh, so anyways it's nothing personal it's just uh, driving your car up a hill real fast why did I hit enter? Also, that's uh, okay. So, playground games. Why on earth is it that if you want the next rival, you're not going to hit enter? Why? Why won't? Why wouldn't you hit enter when everywhere else in the game actually confirming an action is enter? Why? 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 Anyways, it's a good thing that we can um, just teleport down there to gingerly drive up once more. Um, oh, yeah, I have to go there. Against Pinosus 1988. Uh, let's see who's the best. Also, I have these uh, gigolo style uh, rims and window tints. That's for one very, very specific reason, and that specific reason is to trigger the F out of Rob. If you're seeing this, Rob, you're welcome. So, who's the better person? Oh no, that was that came out wrong. Who's the better driver? I'm pretty sure Pinosas, whoever you are, you're a better person than me. I'm a weak excuse for a human being. It's just an eventuality that I may drive faster. Or, well, my acceleration is better. Or, I can cut corners better. Usually, cutting corners bite me in the ass, though. Big time. But, if there is, there is one lesson that I don't learn. Is that cutting corners is bad. I keep doing it for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, in all areas of life, not just in, in Forza. But uh, I'm this silent, uh, sneaky rebel type. Like, I am actually uh, dismantling, this, dismantling the system uh, quietly from within. For example, in this case I do it one rival at a time. I'm chipping away. Oh, 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 hold on. What just happened? Pinosas, what are you doing? There we go. Whoa, that's that's interesting. I may just Yeah, that's because he's more conf uh, I don't know if if you're a he. So Pinosas is more confident uh, around the straights or the the slighter corners. Let's see if we can actually best him or them or I think just slightly. 
yeah. There is there is a, a some sort of a problem. Yeah, I was just slightly faster, as you can see, but I was faster nonetheless. It's been an honor. Yeah. Okay, so this time around, I really want to hit enter. So, my judgment, uh, oh, I got a new accolade and I also got a reward, cool. Uh, not this time. Uh, so, all in all, my judgment of this car, the prototype wanky, if you like, even though it's not a wanky. So, the earlier, earlier iteration of the Commodore VK Group A, that is. It's a really, really nice car if you are looking for uh, the enjoyment of driving and just doing it for the fun of it. Like, I didn't take this for the Goliath, but I imagine it, it would be pretty fun to grind on a four laps Goliath with this one. I would enjoy it, because it drives uh, well, to my liking, to my preferences, uh, I don't care. Okay, let's go to Horizon soon. I don't want anything from you game anymore today. So anyways, uh, if you are uh, looking for, uh, or, or it meets your tastes in terms of driving experience, then this is a really, really nice car. Like, uh, my my taste when it comes to that is basically to be oh here's Robert oh, it's not him really it's just a, a drive avatar named Rob so if if you're you're looking for something that is just a teeny tiny bit feisty that tends to send off its bottom around the corners just the right amount I am also driving the wrong way. In comparison to where I want to go, so let's turn around. So, if you're looking for a car that just goes a little bit sideways, just you know, a bit, bit uh, puckishly, or uh, yeah, then then this is the car for you. Uh, if you're looking for a drift machine, uh, probably you can make a drift build out of it. Uh, and uh, if you're uh, if you're looking for a car that is just not not you know like your grandmother's uh, old uh, old sedan, but has a little bit of speed to it, but not a super car either that is melting the asphalt below it, then it's the right car for you. In any other chance. Or in any other case, I uh, wanted to say, I don't know why I said chance. Probably because it's in the evening and I'm stupid. So, in any other case, you're looking for something else. That being said, grinding this one out currently is not that difficult. When this video releases, uh, it's a Forza Sunday. Uh, this one time and not a Forza Monday. You still have time until like Wednesday to do your 20 points and it's absolutely doable as always so yeah if you're if you find a liking in this car watching this video i highly recommend you go for it i enjoy it immensely i am going to have a lot of fun with it i will keep coming back for more i will take this out of the garage regularly it's it's i'm already uh, sure it's it's one of my favorites in this game. That being said, I do hope that the real Vanky and its uh, uh, its later uh, successor, I think it was GTV, uh, will come to the game eventually as well. I do hope those come because those were really, really awesome cars. I used them a lot in in, in Horizon 4. 
yeah anyways this is it for today I am just uh, blowing hot air out of my mouth uh, and also adding sound to it so yeah thank you for watching this video uh, see you next time and TTFN